Welcome back to CTV Morning Live. We have Paige, Dr. Paul. He is in joining us, C CEO and Medical Officer of Health of Eastern Ontario and the Health Unit. They're great to have you here on the show. Nice to be back. All right, so I mean, we might as well stick with it. We've got uh, back to school nutrition, sure. beauty, and we figure we might as well hit on all aspects yeah. of the health as well. Well, back to school time, uh, you know, 80% of kids say they're stressed by school. And so it's either social, social implications or academic implications. And so I think it's, uh, it's important to start on the, on the right track. Uh, if your child is starting a new school or going to the school for the first time or going back to the school, you can imagine and you're a parent and you know uh, the stress and all the preparation that goes, goes behind it. And so some of the things that I tell parents is really, um, you know, share their anxiety with them. You know, tell them, I went through it, you're going to go through it as well. It's normal, it's a normal part of sort of growing up. And be prepared as much as possible. Try to avoid some of those surprises that may embarrass or add to the stress of your child. So, for example, get all the paperwork done. There's a lot of <laughs> paperwork done and medical records and those type of things. And yeah, you don't want your child to be embarrassed in front of other kids. Oh, well, where's your paper, Johnny? Or, or, or you know, and I don't have it. Those type of things. Number one. Number two, obviously, um, if uh, the child, it's a new school. Uh, it's a good idea maybe to visit the school beforehand, meet the teacher, meet the principal. I know that I was hearing on the radio last week they had a, uh, a program where kids can ride the bus if it was for the first time. It's a great way of getting them used to it. Number three, medically. If the child has, get your medical uh, checkups, dental checkups, eye checkups, those type of things. If your child has any medical conditions, make sure that the school knows about it and what to do about it and so on. If your child has any food allergies, again, make sure that the school itself um, is aware. Finally, uh, in terms of the policies of the school, when you're preparing lunches, I know you're going to have a segment on lunches under, uh, afterwards, know if the, child, if the school is um, peanut free and so on and so forth. Uh, and then finally, I think that the most important thing uh, to do uh, with your child is be supportive and empathetic and really stress the importance of the fact that they're not alone. Talk about it, because if you don't, want to, if you don't talk about it, it'll be an issue. Uh, again, depending on the age group. If it's a teenager that's going to school for the first time, obviously there are a bit extra uh, stresses. Um, they're going through adolescence, they're going through puberty, and those type of things add to the stress. So again, it has to be just a supportive, but uh, supportive and sort of um, being their friend and talking about it. Because otherwise, uh, they will be stressed. We can't avoid it, but what we're trying to do is cushion that stress. Okay, right now, you've just stressed me out because <laughs> I'm looking at uh, immunization forms. I'm sure. looking at get their eyes checked, doctors, you know. Ear I haven't done any of that. Well, uh, now I'm. <laughs> I haven't done I don't that. want to stress you out. No. The, Should the, we? Because there are kids that are back sure. at school now. So do we have, uh, you know, some time? Because that that is something to, to look into. That they're seeing the the, the chalkboard. Sure. That they're seeing sure. these things. It's a good idea to get it done on a yearly basis. It doesn't have to be the day before the school or the week before okay. the school. However, some of the paperwork that's required uh, may be required at the time the child arrives at the school. So that type of work has to be given in. So your child won't be won't stick out and be embarrassed that he doesn't have the paper ready and so on. That's the only thing I'm talking about. Those things should be done on a regular basis, but again, you can time yourself. It doesn't have to be done all at once. Just make sure that what needs to be done for the school purposes in terms of the child having being registered properly and the paperwork being done is proper. And again, um, the most important thing is trying to be familiar with the school, uh, with the policies of the school, and trying to get your child there a bit earlier, a week or two earlier, just to meet people or have a child you know, who goes there and meet the child. It all has to do with getting your child used to a change or a new transition. Uh, the, the one thing uh, that we're looking at, and I know I'm, I'm going through it, is going to sleep at night. Mm -hmm. uh, you're starting to see, uh, you're, we're, you're trying to kind of get them more sure. into the pattern, getting them sure. into bed, getting them up, yeah. uh, and yet they're kind of sitting there, eyes awake, and, and, and that's when they're starting to see the anxiety yeah. or they're thinking. Yeah. Well, it's a good idea to start uh, thinking about the routine, sort of s slowly going to the routine. So a week or two before, now's a good time, start sort of mimicking a, a routine. Uh, and sort of pushing it back early and earlier in terms of going to bed. So brush your teeth, read a story, have a snack and so on. Do it a bit earlier at a time and then the, they can get acclimated. It takes a couple of weeks for a child's body, anybody, to get used to sort of sleep pattern changes. And so that, it, it's normal. It's a normal part of adapting. It'll, it'll happen over the next it, couple of weeks. It as, will. as hopefully they're also tired just from <laughs> being back mentally, well, yes, yes. having to pay attention of all course. day, that the, going to sleep might become a little bit easier than it has been in the summer. Because of, of course. And you can start by, by impl implementing that routine a bit earlier. That's all. Okay. Enjoy the day in Ottawa. Thank you very much. Uh, sometimes you come in and you stay an extra hour or two here <laughs> in the city.